Hey, it's Andreas, and let's talk about stable coins. This area I found to be very interesting, and I found a lot of textbook economic situations as well as some Bernie Madoff like situations. Anyways, let's get right into what is a textbook example of an arbitrage opportunity. Now, remember Luna, the stable coin that went from being a dollar to a token that totally collapsed and lost all its value? Well, there are other stable coins out there, such as Tether, that claim to be fully backed by assets, and they are pegged to the US dollar, exchanging one for one in theory. However, if we take a look at the exchange graph to see what Tether has been trading for, exchanging for, historically, we see that sometimes they deviate from this peg. And in theory, this creates, creates an arbitrage opportunity, meaning you can go on Binance or Crypto.com or some place that sells Tether, buy it for, in this case, when I took a screenshot, 99.88 US dollars for and then you get a hundred US dollars value of Tether here. So you can buy these Tethers for 99.88 US dollars and then exchange them with the company behind this stable coin for a hundred dollars, basically making a risk-free profit. This is the textbook example of arbitrage. However, as we saw with the case of Luna, some investors that were holding this stablecoin lost all their money instantly. And in the case of Luna, they also had the opportunity to do something called staking, where they hold their stablecoin in cold storage, basically promising not to sell them and put selling pressure on the market, which will cause you know, the price to go down of this stablecoin. And in return for that, they will be compensated with a yearly annualized rate. And in the case for Luna, this was 20% annualized. And guys, to me, this is just crazy. Remember Bernie Madoff? He was promising 10% yearly returns, and this was in equity investments. And here comes this stable coins that just supposed to be liquidity provider and an exchange for you know one to one with US dollars and they promised twenty percent and people bought this. No, I mean I'm not even shocked that they lost all their money. It's like a stupidity tax in this case, and we can see on a lot of other websites. I know about Binance and Crypto.com. I've seen ads for this on sport teams in Premier League and on Reddit as well. So they must be some larger companies, but they have this same business model, this same proposition where you can put your tether in cold storage and then be compensated for this. Let's see some annualized rates here. So for lending it out, all right, very risky, 15 to 50%. And <laughs> risk level here, this website that I went to to do my research, they claim that it's very safe, you know, lending, giving out this rates, very safe. You know what's safe? A boring, boring T-bond giving you zero point something annual return. That's safe. And back in the days, you could buy bonds and get 5%. Not anymore, though. And here we have staking, about 100% annualized return. You can double your money each year, and it's also very safe. And then 6 to 7% here for fixed savings, and then also here some sort of staking at crypto.com that can give you up to 8% annualized returns. So crazy, crazy returns just for promising not to selling. I don't think this is something that's sustainable. Sooner or later, the chickens are going to come home to roost. 
Also, Tether has not done a public audit when claims about them not having enough assets to back up their stablecoin arose. And if I was management and I had nothing to hide, I would have just made a public audit and show everybody, hey, we have these bonds, we have US dollars, we have this debt to equity ratio. We're completely safe, guys, and put those doubts to rest. However, this has not been the case and they've not made any public audit. And in the case for this whole Luna losing all their value, this put some pressure on this stablecoin here. And we could see prices dropping from the peg. We could see buyers flocking in for the arbitrage opportunity, pushing up the value to now once again being at a dollar in and getting you know a dollar back in exchange for doing this. So this time Tether was able to provide on their agreement and basically pay out a dollar for the Tether tokens to the people taking advantage of the arbitrage opportunity. Will this happen again in the future? We don't know. They've lost the peg many times and so far they've always been able to get it back up there again. However, it's just like the examples with chickens in the farmyard. Just because the farmer comes and feeds you food every day, this does not mean that you're his friend. One day you will be led to the slaughterhouse and thinking that this is just another normal day and I'm about to get some food from my good friend here. Anyways, that's just my thoughts on stablecoins. Am I totally wrong? Is this the next new millionaire factory? Or do you agree with me and think that this feather will go the same way as Luna as it's not a sustainable business practice? Anyways, invest safe. I hope you make a ton of money, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.